he'll be emerging now so long as that other vehicle is clear just a near side mirror to check there the van has now cancelled his signal he's in a position to go all the way around and before I exit the roundabout I'm seeing that there is a pedestrian crossing up here the van has now got a near side signal on now cancelled looking at the pedestrian crossing there's no one at that crossing and on we go I've got a junction to the offside, currently clear, looking into that junction on the, on the approach. Check the mirrors. Got brake lights up ahead. Junction to the offside. And after the uh, lorry that's making a delivery, we have a junction controlled by traffic lights. Blue tail back of traffic, just checking the mirrors stopped in the position towards the crown of the road so I get a better view myself of uh, what's oncoming. Looking ahead we've got another pedal cycle, got further junctions near side and off side, all currently clear at the moment. Checking the mirrors. I see traffic lights ahead. I've got a junction here, just making sure nothing is coming towards that junction uh, too quickly. Often when cars approach junctions and they have to stop and uh, give way, their observations are often very shallow and only for about a second or two. And it's very easy for a car driver to uh, miss a motorcyclist, particularly if they're in line with a heavy goods vehicle or such like behind. Up ahead I can see a black vehicle that's just emerged from a junction to the offside and now I've got a silver vehicle. We're some way off yet, but by having early observation and planning you can deal with these hazards quite effectively. Near side signal from the VW in front of me, just checking my mirrors, easing back slightly just to allow for that vehicle to make its turn. Also looking in there, there is a blue van with a right hand signal, just coming towards the junction, just keeping an eye on him, easing back slightly because his approach speed was uh, slightly higher than I was anticipating. 